One, action. Okay, we're live. Hello, Build Idaho in Facebook land. I am Michelle Pennick coming to you from Keller Williams Realty. But we're not going to talk about real estate today because it's Friday, it's the weekend, and we're going to talk about another important topic, where to eat. We're going to talk about food. For those of you that know me, you know I'm a bit of a foodie and I'm a sucker for great atmosphere and of course an amazing meal. So today we're going to talk about my three top restaurants that you're not going to want to miss. All right, let's dive into it. We're going to go to Boise first and we're going to Barbacoa. Barbacoa is a Boise favorite located in the heart of Boise. They are an open fire grilling process and grandfather of American barbecue. Their culinary delights are a tribute to the rancher and cowboy of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> so basically, barbecue, barbacoa celebrates the influence of Spain, Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico. From ribeye to ribs to paella, scallops, and even a dish they call when pigs fly, you're not going to want to miss barbacoa. So you want to get dressed up for a night on the town here. It is um, upscale, so make sure to make a reservation. Okay, next let's travel to the heart of Eagle, to one of Eagle's newest restaurants and one of my personal favorites, Crave, Crave Kitchen. Crave is locally owned and operated. We love to support our locals, so just keep that in mind when you're going out. It is locally owned and operated. Crave features a rooftop bar patio, so you can sit up there and have one of their signature cocktails, or they also do have a dine-in and dine-out experience, which is great right now because the weather is beautiful, so you can sit out there and enjoy a cocktail while looking at the beautiful landscaping. So from hand-cut steaks and fish to fresh pastas and bread, all of the ingredients at Crave are made in-house daily. So it is sure to delight your taste buds. My favorite dish there is the ahi tuna with jumbo shrimp served with crab fried rice. So for you seafood lovers, this is a dish you're gonna wanna not miss because when can you get ahi tuna and shrimp together, right? It's perfect. Okay, and last but certainly not least, I'm actually going here this weekend. I'm super excited. Brick 29. <laughs> Brick 29 is a bit of a hidden gem in Napa. It's actually located, it looks like an old warehouse. You wouldn't even know it's there. You take an elevator up to the second floor and then it opens to this beautiful dining room with chandeliers and gorgeous booths. I love the atmosphere. It's uh, it's perfect with beautiful views of the city. Brick 29 prepares locally grown food with out of this world flavors. Again, so local. Make sure to support your local restaurants. You won't want to miss their pan fried oysters, mac and cheese, or of course their signature bistro style ribeye. You're also going to want to make a reservation um, to go to Brick 29. Again, I'm going there this weekend, so I hope to see you there. All right, that's it for now. I hope you have an amazing weekend. <laughs>